Hey, good afternoon, guys. Sorry I'm missing you this afternoon. What I've left for you guys to work on is another one of these gizmos on Explore Learning. All right, so let me just get this launched here. Get into presentation mode. All right, so we started looking at the electromagnetic spectrum yesterday. And as I mentioned, we've got our red light, our orange light, yellow, green, blue, and they go all the way through violet. All right. First thing I want you guys to do as you guys are working through this gizmo, you want to show these labels over here. It's going to mention star number one through star number 10 throughout a couple of different of these activities. Um, so having these labels here is just going to make things easier for you. All right. As you take a different look, a couple different looks at these stars, like if I click star one here, you can see that we have the light that we're receiving from it. All right, but there are certain parts of interference here. All right, and as you look through these different stars, you're going to use these couple different sets of spectra over here to find out which elements are going to be present in each one of these stars. So if I'm using this first one as an example, I can pull this over here. That's our hydrogen. And as I line that up here, I can see that these lines over here line up, these lines line up here. They line up here and they line up here. This would tell me that star one is burning hydrogen as part of its fuel. Okay. So I would include that within my, my elements that are included there. All right. And I can drag all of these over here. I can see, look, now I'm looking at helium. I didn't quite get that to stick there. I'm looking at helium. Which one are we? There we go. All right. And again, I see that I've got the dark lines on the top and the dark lines on the bottom, and they are lining up. So that's telling me that this first star is burning hydrogen and helium. All right. And then to show another example, move this back so it sticks down there. Um, I could pull out, like, for example, the spectra for iron here, and I can see that it does not line up. Okay. We have a lot of thicker lines through the green here and through the blues, and they just don't match up. So that is telling me that iron is not present in star one. Okay, a couple things to remember as I move this off to the side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sets in our neutral spectra. And we also have some ionic spectra that we can use. And those are also going to be present in these different stars as well. As you get to stars five, and six and seven, eight, nine, and 10, there's going to be something a little bit different. Like I have number seven lit up here and you can see that it's sort of the opposite of what we would expect. So now instead of looking at where the dark lines match up, I wanna see where the dark lines are being matched with a, um, a light on the spectra to sort of oppose what we're seeing from from that nebula there. All right, so hopefully these tips and tricks will be helpful this afternoon. Like I said, I'm over at the district and if you need to shoot me any questions, uh, just do so on Schoology. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.